Hi, this is Phil Chandler with my first swarm retrieval of the season. Unusually late. Um, this is the getting heading towards the middle of Jul uh, for July. <laughs> heading towards the middle of May um, is quite late for us to be taking swarms, and it's uh, been a chilly spring with a, a persistent easterly wind. But now it's calmed down a bit, although it's quite breezy today. Um, the wind swung around to the southwest. Temperature's gone up, and that's a signal for bees to swarm. And we've got quite a decent size prime swarm here. And uh, truth be told, it's probably come from a hive which is just over the wall there in that next door garden. And um, it's possible the owner would quite like it uh, in, in a one, if he has another hive to uh, em empty, which I will find out in due course when he comes home. But in the meantime, I'm going to take the swarm off this tree and pop it into the skep. Uh, which is parked over here and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to clip off these branches on this um, dead old uh, Christmas tree and then I shall probably have to saw through the trunk um, with my trusty temagari and then uh, assuming the bees have put up with all that sort of treatment I shall shake them into the skep and uh, recover them in the in the usual way and then take them put them into a top bar hive but uh, never count your chickens before they've hatched, never count your swarms before they've actually got into the hive. So we'll see what we can do here. So what I've done is simply invert the skep onto the sheet, leaving a little gap around this side. And that allows the bees to find their way into the skep, of course. And uh, so now it's just a matter of waiting for the fanning to start. And in fact, it's already started. There's some fanning going on down there already. So we've got the queen in the skep, which is the obviously the key to the whole operation. And now we're just gonna wait for the other bees to move in and that sh probably won't take very long in fact because they uh, they've got a very strong instinct to stay with their queen and that's what we take advantage of when we take swarms <laughs> <laughs> 